is a proud, independent and beautiful country and is now being bombarded by a shameless aggressor who has lied for months to his people and to the rest of the world. We are here to stand for Ukraine, to show our support for freedom and democracy and to say to President Putin, get out of our country! Putin out! Putin out! Slavo Ukraina! Putin! The world now sees you for what you are. You are a liar, a bully, and a tyrant. Leave our country now. Slavo Ukraini! Thank you very much, Irena. It gives me great pleasure to invite you all here today and, uh, and, and a great pleasure that we've got all a lot of guests but I'd like first and foremost to ask our parish priest Otech David to open officially with a prayer. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I'd like to invite each and every one of you according to your faith, according to your belief, to spend the next 10-15 seconds asking your God to bless Ukraine. May the Lord God bless our country. May the Lord God Bless the people of Ukraine, for those who are suffering, for those who will continue to suffer, and may the souls of those who have already paid the ultimate price rest in peace. God bless you all, and I thank you. Thank you very much, Father David. It gives me great pleasure to, uh, to introduce our guests. First and foremost, I would like to ask His Worshipful, the Mayor of Derby Councillor Robin Wood, to say a few words on behalf of the City Council. Hello everybody. I'm very sad to be here today. I usually say how pleased I am to be with people of Derby. But last August, I raised the blue and yellow flag on the other side of the council house as a tribute on your Independence Day to a proud and independent country, a European country. And we are all Europeans. Whether or not we're independent of the EU, we're still in Europe, as is Ukraine. Ukraine is the largest country in Europe. And I think we need to remember that. The blue of the sky and the yellow of the corn tells us what a beautiful, proud country you are. As mayor, I can't be political, but I can say that the Ukrainian people of Derby, and I understand there's well over 400 of you, contribute and have long contributed for decades to Derby's economy and to our culture. And I thank you for that, and it's time for the whole of the city to support our Ukrainian community. What, what we've been hearing for the last few days has shocked us all. And I think it won't be over quickly. But whatever the next few months tell us, we hope that Ukraine will emerge after everybody has fought so well as a, again a proud and independent European country. I'm going to hand over to members of parliament who can probably say a little more political things than I can. But if you'll forgive my pronunciation. Slava Ukraini. <laughs> 
like the Mayor has said, it's a very sad day that we're gathering here today. But I'm pleased to come as part of this solidarity with Ukraine and the people of Ukraine. Because I'm sure all of you who have Ukrainian backgrounds have family and friends back in the Ukraine still and must be so worried about them. But I think... Can you hear now? Oh, all right. I'm, I'm sure that you will be aware that in Parliament, everybody has voted for the sanctions that we are putting in against um, Putin. I think on a cross-party basis, we will continue to do that because we cannot allow this man to take over Ukraine and I don't believe he will stop there. I think he's evil and I just do not want him to survive this. I want him out of the picture so that Ukraine can go back to being that independent, proud, democratic nation that we all admire. I know that we, three years ago, I think it was, we unveiled the um, plaque to the Holodomor. We don't want to have to do another plaque because Ukraine has been completely subsumed. It is a very sad day for all of you, and I just wish you all the best. And I hope that, as the, the mayor has said, it's not going to be quick, but I hope it isn't too bad for the people of Ukraine. They are fighting, they're fighting back at the moment, and I admire their tenacity and their courage, because it's not easy. I don't know what would happen if it was Derby rather than Kiev. I think it's a tragedy, and we all need to stand together to support all of you and to wish your relatives and your friends and family the very best and safety. So thank you very much for organising this. I'm delighted to be here with you on this very sad occasion. I'm now going to hand over to Margaret Beckett. Because of the role your community plays in our city, many of us have been fortunate enough to spend many happy times with you, many celebrations, events, family events and so on, and that has been a great thing for all of us. So it's only right that on this, which is a very sad occasion, we join you again. This is a very difficult time for everybody, and it's a time when it's important to try not to say the wrong thing. Encouraging courage cannot be wrong encouraging steadfastness and bravery, which we know your people will show. But it's also important to look more widely as to how we can perhaps diminish the worst impacts of this terrible, wicked, and very, very dangerous act that the Russians have taken. Your president, is conducting himself very well, you must be proud. And he's obviously being very well advised. Personally, I think he is absolutely right to stress the importance of communicating to the people of Russia what is being done in their name. Because whatever ancient quarrels or enmities there may occasionally be, I very much doubt whether there is in Russia the welcome for this that Putin probably expected. And it's important that that is recognized and that that is fostered. So we're, we're very sad to be here today, but we're proud to be able to stand with you. And we wish all of you and those you love the best we can hope. Um, I am so sad to be here today, as all of you are. And I stand here as a politician, I know that, and give you our guarantee that we will do the very best. But more important than that, I stand here as a daughter, as a sister, as an aunt, as a mother, as a grandmother. And it absolutely breaks my heart to think of what is happening now, today. 
And I have shed tears like many of you, and I've seen the valiant and the bravery that people have been showing. And so my prayers are with everybody there, and my prayers are that we really get to the end of this as swiftly and as safely as we can. But you have my guarantee, along with all of the other MPs here, that we'll be doing our very, very best. But as a, as a, a person, as a human being, I will be fighting to do the very best that I can for all. Over the last 20 years, the Association of Ukrainians in Derby have been working together with other, other, other community groups and we've also worked very hard with the, with the Holocaust Memorial Day planning group and we have, we have two representations or representatives from the HMD planning group. I'd like to first of all welcome our Bosnian Herzegovina friend Ferid to say a few words. He's got his Bosnia, Bosnian flag with us with all the Ukrainian flags, because they are also suffering as we speak in Bosnia. Very would you like to say a few words, and I'll hold your flag. Bosnian community and Ukrainian community, used to meet, dancing, used to meet, to share different culture, to share different identity. At this certain day, reason to meet is different. I remember in 92, 1992, similar regime to the Putin regime did aggression to the Bosnia. The world have not been united on that day. A genocide, a genocide happened. Please, we as a Bosnian community, we are asking all of you to stand to protect another genocide in European soil to happen again. Slava Ukraine! Hello, Slava! Um, I received an email from uh, one of the members uh, of our HMD planning group and um, she informed me that uh, a rabbi and his son are stuck, her son are stuck in Kyiv. So let's think about those two and many other people that are stuck in Kyiv at this moment in time. As we speak, Kyiv is being bombarded from left, right and centre, but we are still strong and we're still hopefully in the hands of the Ukrainian government and authorities. But let's think about those that are stuck Let's pray that they can escape eventually. Final, last but not least, I'd like to welcome Isaac from the HMD planning group, but also from the Jewish community, to say a few words. From Joe and Irina, dear friends and fellow members of Derby's Holocaust Memorial Day planning group, I learnt the word Holodomor for the terrible genocide of 1932-33 perpetrated by Stalin's Soviet Union which murdered 7 million Ukrainian people. Now again, the Ukrainian people are being subject to unspeakable evil and murder by Russia. I am humbled and in awe of the heroism of the Ukrainian people and its great presence in this dark, dark hour. From within such horror, they are ringing out in the words of Bob Dylan, whose ancestors came from Odessa, and like President Zelensky, a Jew, the chimes of freedom to and for the whole world. May God bless all Ukraine and the brave Russians who are speaking out against Putin and his fellow gangsters. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Derby City Council, number one, for raising our flag today. It is very, very important to us to see the flag in such a prominent position over the city of Derby. Also, for lighting up that beautiful bridge. <laughs> it is a beautiful bridge and it looks even better in blue and yellow. Um, also, I know that lots of people have come to me and said, how can we help? We're here today, but we're not there. We can't be there, we can't fight there, but we can give to help people to do something there. And so all the organisations in Great Britain have come together and have organised a hashtag Help Ukraine Fund. Our initial aim 
was £50,000. That was last week. Thanks to everybody's generosity across the whole country, from the Isle of Skye, the Isle of Skye today, I had a little message, from the Isle of Skye right to the south of the country, we have managed to collect, and this is from about an hour ago, it keeps going up, £385,000. This fund was set up, oh, Joe's just given me the newest, £410,000 and rising. This fund was set up to give medical and humanitarian aid to Ukraine. And if anyone would like to contribute to that, no matter how small, doesn't matter how much it is, there's a GoFund page, Help Ukraine. Thanks to everybody that's come here today. It's absolutely wonderful to see such a crowd. We knew that you would come out to support Ukraine today. Thank you very much, Ukrainians and friends in Derby. Thank you. Can we have a few chants just so that we all feel together? What will we start with, Joe? Putin out! 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 Stand with Ukraine! 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 And now, in Ukrainian, Pitremai Ukraino! 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 Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Um, I've just been informed that the Dean of Derby and the Bishop of Derby are here. Thank you. Uh, my friends, I'm uh, Libby. I'm Bishop of Derby, Bishop for the city and the county. Uh, Dean Peter at the cathedral and I have just come from a service at your cathedral where we have been holding you in prayer. Um, so we were a little late in arriving uh, because we were praying for you. But we are honoured to be able to stand with you today. Uh, be assured of our continuing prayers and support uh, from me and Dean Peter, uh, from our church communities across Derby, Derbyshire and the East Midlands, and on behalf of our archbishops, uh, whose message you may have seen in the news, who spoke in Parliament, um, the Christian faith community and all faith communities as we've heard this afternoon are standing in solidarity with those who are under such pressure and such difficulty and such pain and such cost today. Uh, we pray with you and stand with you. Yeah.